Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again, and I have another Reddit story for you, but this one comes from the best of Redditor updates. This is, my soon-to-be former mother-in-law is why I'm divorcing my husband. And this is originally from the True Off My Chest subreddit from January 3rd of 22. My soon-to-be former mother-in-law is why I'm divorcing my husband. Throw away since husband uses Reddit. I'm planning to divorce my husband. I'm not here to have people try to change my mind. I will follow through no matter what everyone says. I, 23 female, and my husband, 27 male, have been together just shy of four years and married for nearly two. And I'm done. I've done everything. I have agreed to slow down college classes so that I could stay home more while he worked and had to take even less once I got pregnant with my one-year-old. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and he's the breadwinner. I do all the cooking, cleaning, child rearing while taking my classes, all of which are online so I can watch my daughter. I agreed to this because I thought on his days off he'd help me. He'd help take care of my daughter and let me rest or go out with friends, and that hasn't happened at all. He comes home and goes to his man cave to game for hours at a time. When I do see him, he always complains about something or other. Usually chores I missed or to tell me dinner's taking too long. He sounds special. And my mother-in-law, who I've tried to get along with for the sake of my husband and daughter, is simply a bitch. She's a self-proclaimed boy mom and told me when she met me that I'd never be good enough for her son. She raised him to be lazy. He doesn't know how to cook the most basic of meals, clean, and God forbid I asked him to watch my daughter. He hates babysitting. I don't, I, I'm running out of red flags. I'm literally running out of red flags here. Weaponized incompetence is a behavior I've become familiar with, to say the least. Whenever we have a fight, he runs to mommy, and she'll call me to scream at me and tell me I ruined his life. Should I just leave them on the whole time? His dad is no better. He gave my husband a cushy job in his company he doesn't deserve that definitely pays him too much since I know he probably just bums around the office all day yelling at people. I have a bag packed, money saved, and we will be going to my brother's and my sister-in-law, who's a lawyer, has agreed to help me divorce this useless pile of shit that I married. I'm ashamed to admit when I called him and sister-in-law about them helping me, they told me they'd been waiting for me to open my eyes and realized I needed to leave. So everybody knew. Except for mom. I wish that I could stay and raise my daughter with my soon-to-be ex, but I finally realized he'll never change or grow and that my mother-in-law is enabling his behavior and will never accept me as her daughter-in-law. In the comments. Why do you keep saying my daughter and not our? OP. Because he doesn't contribute to raising her at all. She's my daughter and nothing but a nuisance to him that he has to deal with, making noise while he games, about letting mother-in-law babysit. She never babysits or visits. We live too far, 30 minutes away by car. I'll be miserable staying with my husband. Without him, I have my brother, sister-in-law, parents, and an extended family to help me, and I can go back to college full-time and get my degree. I would leave him without a support system or penny to my name because no matter what happens, my life will be significantly better without him. Comet says doing everything at home without help was equal to the husband working all day. OP. I don't think they're that equal considering he can come home from his work. I can't stop being a parent or take a day off when he won't help me with anything around the house. He was so sweet, at first I ignored things like how rude my mother-in-law was the first time we met. He made excuses for her, saying that she was always like that not to take it to heart. She'd change once she warmed up to me. He told me he wanted to start a family, and that he couldn't see marrying anyone else. I feel so stupid I fell for all of that now. I know it was all lies. He lived with his parents still, and his mom did everything for him. I stupidly thought he'd change and become responsible after we got married and moved into our house. I figured it'd take time for him to learn how to cook and clean. He never tried, but I thought eventually he would if I was patient. It took four years to realize that wouldn't change but better four than 40. Holy crap, there's an update too. This story is 12 years long. Update. Hello everyone, I thought you would appreciate an update. Since my post, I've realized that while my mother-in-law is a massive problem, she is far from the root cause. My husband and himself being lazy and refusing to help with anything is the issue. He has never supported me and I should have realized far sooner that I was being taken advantage of. I didn't. But at least I've only wasted four years of my life instead of 40 trying to make something work that never will. I hope my mother-in-law will like having her son all to herself again so she can do his laundry and clean for him. As of Christmas, me and my daughter are staying with my brother and sister-in-law. On Christmas, my mother-in-law was supposed to come over so that we could spend time as a family. Since making my first post, I would began to take all of my necessities, hide them away, and then have my brother take them in his truck to his house so that I could leave quickly and efficiently. I knew I couldn't take another Christmas with my husband and mother-in-law. All mother-in-law does is criticize my cooking and parenting while my soon-to-be ex-husband husband and my father-in-law do nothing. So I left to make a last minute 
minute run to the grocery store with my daughter. Really, I'd gone to get our coats, left the divorce papers on his desk, in his gaming room, and left in my brother's car who'd come to pick me up. I turned off my phone and we had a laid back night eating Chinese food and watching Christmas movies. Sister-in-law is helping me with the divorce and custody negotiations, both of which she's optimistic that I'll get the majority of my demands. Since leaving mother-in-law, ex-husband and father-in-law have all called me to scream at me and I've recorded everything and I will be using every text, phone call, and voicemail to ensure I get full custody. Thank you to everyone who wished us well. I hope you all had a happy new year. So, yes, she obviously needed to leave. She obviously was in a situation that there was a Kobayashi Maru. There was no winning here. There was absolutely no winning. It was just a matter of losing in the least painful way. And I think she did that. She also made her departure the biggest middle finger she could think of, which is awesome. It might actually land her on the ASCON scale, but it's warranted because it's awesome. So she had slowly been moving her stuff out without anybody realizing. It was on Christmas. She left to make a last minute run to the grocery store. Maybe it was Christmas Eve. It sounds like it was Christmas Day. I just don't know what grocery stores open on Christmas Day. Maybe it was Christmas Eve. I'm not sure. But the way that she departed and just basically slipped out and left the freaking divorce papers on his gaming desk. Oh, my God. You know, you know, he's going to see it there. Obviously, he's going to see it there. However, he's probably going to be searching all over the house looking for his dinner, which he doesn't know where it is. And then his mommy's going to have to cook it. And how do you think his mom responds to all this? Of course, he could do no wrong. It was all her. I'm sure she's just a terrible heartbeat. You did nothing wrong at all. My my baby boy, you're my baby. Any woman would be so lucky to have you. We will fight this divorce with you. My God. Here's the error on her part, though. She thought he could change. And I know so many people make this mistake, but when she met him, she knew that he was useless, right? Like she knew he couldn't do anything because because mommy had been an enabler, but she thought she could fix him. And I know this is a mistake that happens over and over and over again. And how old were they? They weren't that old. I mean, they're in their 20s. He's 27 and they've been together for four years. So he was 23. They've been together for, yeah, since he was 23. That's young. You know what I mean? She's 23 now. So she was 19 at the time. And I know in your late teens and early 20s, you don't know. You don't know to look out for those warning signs. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. You just get excited and swept away by the romance or the lust or whatever the heck it is that you saw in this person and you don't Look at all the warning signs here. So you were essentially trapped into being completely dependent on him. And that's why he thought he could treat you however the F he wanted. And then he just assumed you would deal with it and never leave. Well, he's wrong. Part of this story is something that we see so much too. It's guys specifically who work full time. Their wives or significant others are a stay at home mom. And they have this mentality whenever they get home from work that they don't have to do shit. And it drives me nuts because taking care of kids is so difficult. What Candy Thunder does taking care of, of Navy. Who, who is in school a couple of days per week now? She's in a preschool program, which helps. But what Candy Thunder does, if she's home all day with her, or even just during the day, whenever I'm here in the studio, is so much harder than what I do here in the studio. And then it just doesn't end. And of course, you know, whenever I get home, we start tag teaming things, but it's not like work stops for her at that point. It's tough. Being a stay-at-home parent is a lot of work. And they have a one-year-old. It's a lot of work now, and it's going to become a different kind of work here soon because when they become a toddler and start running around and getting into everything, that's work too. It is a ton of work. So Brozo here who comes home and is like, oh, I won the bread today. I want a game. You're going to cook. Huh. Brozo. Classic man-child. Mama's teat-sucking Brozo. My God. 